Almost exactly a year ago, I celebrated my birthday by reviewing the incredible W Dragon Giraffe Titan. How unexpected that almost a year later, I have another Brachiosaurid dinosaur, in this case the Nanmo Watchman Brachiosaurus, the walking version. This is a PVC model as opposed to the resin of the limited edition standing version. Brachiosaurus is one of those dinosaurs that almost demand a height measurement in addition to a length. So this model is 42.5 centimeters or 16.5 inches tall. And dropping a perpendicular down, the length is about 41 centimeters or 16.1 inches. For a scale of 1 to 35, this represents a real-life height of 14.9 meters or 49 feet. Since Brachiosaurus is familiar to most of us, and we know that Nanmu follows the Jurassic Park aesthetic, there's no point commenting on its accuracy. So we can just talk about this model itself, and at the end of the video, I'll compare him to the obvious W Dragon Giraffe Titan. There are two color variants, a brown, which you see in the original Jurassic Park movie, and a grey, as seen in the very sad death scene in Fallen Kingdom. Now since that scene really moved me, I decided to get the grey, and save its life in a sense. Now starting at the head, you can see the close modelling to the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus, including the shrink wrap orbital fenestra. The detail is quite good, as you'd expect from Nanmu. You see the various ridges, folds, and creases in the head, and also the nice blend of colours from crown to mandible. The eyes are also carefully painted. You'll see the same story in the detail and the paint application as we go down the neck, seemingly forever, the cords of muscle here stand in nice relief, and look at how they've added in this very subtle striping pattern. And then to the body. I like this ridge here, and there's a continuity down here in what I presume is the supraspinous ligament. You can see the texture of the skin has the very traditional creases and skin folds, with no individual scales. This is a very beefy dinosaur, with ample muscle bulk over the scapular coracoid, the arms, the thighs, and the tail. Now, color-wise, it's of course the general grey, transitioning into yellow on the ventral, and medial aspects. But you can see various tones within, as well as really quite a nice overlay of various washes. You can see for example how nice the fade is from grey to yellow in the arms, and the tail. They create a more complex look than you might expect in a large drab animal.
The morphology of the hands is as you'd expect. But despite the inaccuracy, the nails are nicely painted, with a kind of gloss applied over it. Now the model comes with this 1 to 35 figure, which looks like the member of the ACU. Uh, so it's always nice to have a figure for a scale comparison. And speaking of comparison, the most obvious one has to be the W Dragon Giraffe Titan. Now the box here is rather smaller than I expected. Uh, it's 57 by 31 centimeters of 22.4 by 12.2 inches, and so it's smaller than the W Dragon one. But when you compare them directly, you can see that while the W Dragon is taller in maximum height, but also the profile of the body, in terms of actual bulk, the Namu is far beefier. You can see that in the musculature of the shoulders, the arms, the gluteal and thigh regions, the tail too. And this bulk is especially obvious here in the dorsal view. In fact, the W Dragon weighs 1.45 kilograms, and the Namu Brachiosaurus is 1.56 kilograms. So that's a difference of 110 grams, or about a quarter pounds heavier. Um, other points of interest uh, the, in the head the W Dragon with the mouth open has more features of interest, such as the teeth and the tongue. The hands are of course more accurate than in the Nanmu, though to be fair, that's not what Nanmu is going for. You might also be delighted to know that despite this, the Nanmu does have body proportions closer to Brachiosaurus in the more elongated and less compact torso here, compared to the W Dragon, which of course follows more closely Giraffe Titan. Uh, Colour-wise, I feel that overall, W Dragon seems to have a bit more subtle blending going on. To summarise, I'd say that if you want accuracy, you'd of course go with the W Dragon. But the Nanmu will be a no-brainer for true blue fans who want a JP Brachiosaurus. The impressive nature of this beast, especially if you don't already have the W Dragon, and its render, which follows the Jurassic Park model, will definitely be a wonderful reminder of the movie. If you already have the W Dragon and are not dying for a Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus, I think you could be very happy with just that. Finally, let's have a look compared to the Nanmu once and future king Buck T-Rex. Really, I've said before that I can only reserve a very limited amount of space for the most iconic Jurassic Park dinosaurs. And for me, at least, that's a T-Rex and a Brachiosaurus, since I don't much like the Velociraptors. And now, standing side by side, I think you can see how much having these two will really add to your Jurassic Park collection of dinosaurs. Okay, so that'll do it for me. Let me know what you think. I know there are some real Jurassic Park aficionados out there, and I'd like to hear how this measures up to your standards. I'll see you very soon with another video.